But you know what? If you're gonna have a sword for loving, would you want it to be hard? Hello fellow heroes, I'm Action Smack Child, the two-in-one hero made up of a virus from the 70s and a guy who likes to play things. I'm playing another one of my game uh, another one of my games. <laughs> hey Jules, I love you. Do you know what I love, Stella? <laughs> but yeah, um this is uh I think my most popular game <laughs> on like itch.io. I don't remember if it's any good at all. I have not looked at it in like nine, maybe eight years. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, it's one I definitely made during my university days, but I didn't make it for like any of my um, any of my game development classes because I was a game dev uh, major in college uh, while well, in, in university. I actually made this for a multimedia class. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, the idea is that it has multiple endings and um, seriously? No. Aww. <laughs> um, I got a bad ending. I guess I got the bad ending because it doesn't specify which bad ending that was. <laughs> so I'm not allowed to tell the cute girl that I love her right now. That's fine. <laughs> Alright, Jules, I love you. Uh, do you know what I love, Stella? Science. I love science. Science? Let me show you. My lover's <laughs> uh, Behold. You made this? Yes. All I did... All I took was televisions, internet, and signs. <laughs> what does it do? It's a machine that takes multiple objects and mixes them together to create a new single object. It's like magic. No, not magic. It's science. <laughs> so like already, I seem to be having a whole lot of fun. Um, doing the weird translation animation things <laughs> having jewels scoot in and out of frame at different uh sizes <laughs> i was going nuts with that and like again it didn't really occur to me um that that's not really how most games uh, tend to handle <laughs> cutscenes with portraits but I didn't care. I just wanted to make the silly, make the sillies, man. I need help testing it, though. I'll help. Uh, what do you need me to do? Just stand there, put you there, and I'll be right back. <laughs> to test my machine, I need to find an object to input into it. Um. But yeah. There is not a whole lot here. <laughs> oh, gee. Where did I get this picture? I might have just like pulled this uh, picture from online. I just realized that the uh, the mirror... Is that a mirror? I guess that's a mirror in the background. The mirror does not reflect the same thing as the board. Uh, are, they, are they Miku vampires? Miku vampires on the board? That's crazy. Um... I'll look outside. <laughs> Whatever. I'm not actually playing this on, um... Oh, there we go. There's one. I'm not actually playing this on the, um... Using the keys. I'm using a PS4 controller. <laughs> I'm a little bit surprised that a PS4 controller still works with the, uh... This version of RPG Maker. Um, I think this was VX Ace. I definitely did not do a whole lot of using a gamepad for v VX Ace games back in the day. So whimsical. A butterfly would be pretty nice to use for the experiment. Got a butterfly. Be nice to it. <laughs> sure, what if I mean to the butterfly? What are you guys going to do? 
Does does Peter care about butterflies? About insects? About the mistreatment of uh, smaller animals? A cat? Nature's cuteness perfected. It must have. <laughs> I'm gonna go get me a cat. Come over here, dingo cat. Why you gotta run from me? The science calls uh, call, calls for you. Calls for me to get you. <laughs> oh yeah, this is like the gamiest part of the uh, of the game because there's actually just winning and losing conditions in that you have to follow this cat. In this very maze-like uh, park, I guess. Oh my gosh! Get away from me, you dangle doggies! Oh shoot, where'd it go? I want to pay attention. Is it this one? Oh, all right. <laughs> Sweet. Come here, come here, I want the butterfly. Butterflies are cool too. Aha, I got a butterfly. I need to be nice to it. Now there's like stuff here. Do I get to do things with the stuff? Should I take this wood from my machine? No, never. There's no, there's not allowed to be wood in my machine. I need science for my machine, not wood. Hmm? Not science. Uh, there once was a blacksmith who fell in love with the water goddess. His love for her was so intense that he forged an incredible sword in her honor and out of his iron spirit in her honor out of his iron spirit and tempered his so uh, burning soul he then chucked that sword into the water hoping the goddess would receive it <laughs> i bet it isn't even true <laughs> uh, but scientifically because you say it's not true it must be true ah oh, science texts and the owner of this room must have some taste huh all right what's this do piano I bet I can play this piano with my knowledge of acoustics. Let me show you. What? <laughs> Change the background music. I hope this is something that I can play. Like, um, YouTube won't get me at, get at me for this. Oh, shoot. No. The jewels you're playing goes going too hard. <laughs> All right. Can I change the music back? I don't like how loud it is. No, please stop the music, jewels. Mm, two seats with a table between. A bit of a shame to sit here alone. Maybe with Stella. Wait, what am I thinking about? Not science. <laughs> this song is pretty cool, though. It's definitely like among the things that I would listen to back in um back in like in my university days. <laughs> I was really into like the I was really like into like EDM and like electronica stuff. Techno. Is it fully empty? Riyadh. What is this? Gunpowder? I don't want that nowhere close to my machine. You know what gunpowder does to machines? Science says that probably might make it blow up. If I were to lie down here, I would blend into the covers like a lizard. <laughs> Which direction did the cat go? Crap. Oh no. I have to make decisions. Wait. Hold on. Can I save? Yes, I can save. There we go. So what's this story? It was in this direction. Aha! That was just a test. Um, because now I'm just gonna reload the dang old file. There we go. <laughs> oh shoot, it saved the music? No way. I was kind of hoping that reloading would also undo the music. Come here, you dango cat. You ding. Stop. Stop running so fast. Duh. <laughs> uh, finally got you, you brat. Uh, you put the cat uh, in your pocket. There we go. 
And then I have this very scientific hole in the cosmos. Science. <laughs> I'm glad that um, I put so much thought into the dialogue. Because not all, not all games dialogue is going to consist of 80% science. Let's see here. There's a butterfly there. I want the butterfly. I'm gonna get the butterfly. I'm gonna get the butterfly. Angled bushes. Oh. Haha. -ha. Parkour! <laughs> How'd you like my scientific parkour? There's no fantasy creature that could do parkour quite like me and my science. Come here, you dig butterfly. There we go. I got a butterfly. I'm gonna be nice to it. I'm gonna be real nice to it. Let's see. Is there anything around here? Is there something about this flower? It's a fancy strip. I like the, uh, <laughs> the small piece of land that I get to hang out in. All right. There has to be something with this here. Oh, huh? <laughs> I am the water goddess. Um, hello, non-scientific entity. <laughs> you may be may, the goddess of H2O, but the fact that you're a goddess means that you are not scientific. You must seek me for the magic sword of infinite love and happiness. Excuse me? You seem to be one of pure heart, worthy of the blade. I will grant it to you. <laughs> uh, water goddess out. Ooh. ooh. <laughs> she has nice effects. I like the effects. All right. So I got a sword now. Or I could go get the sword now. I'm going to go get that sword. I want the sword. Let's see. What do I remember about making this game? <laughs> Um, I made this game in like three days. I felt pretty good about that at the time. I guess I'll take it. Obtain the sword love. The love sword. I obtained the love sword. It doesn't look very sharp. But you know what? If you're gonna have a sword for loving, would you want it to be would you want it to be hard? Would you want it to be pointy? There we go. But yeah, I made this game in like three days and I was pretty happy about that. Because, um, well, one, I didn't have a whole lot of a finished game project, so I was pretty happy about having a finished game project. Um, this game is finished, fully wrapped, has winning and losing conditions, you can save. <laughs> and I did all of that in like, a, yeah, three days. Because, you know, um, the, the project would be due. <laughs> and I wasn't supposed to go like this hard on like making something for that class because uh for for the most part that multimedia class i was taking was mostly about um uh, videos <laughs> there's large con concentration of making video content um so i did spend a lot of time learning how to edit videos um in that class not that i you know learned anything particularly uh <laughs> profound in video editing, but it was definitely an experience. Wait a second. What is that? Is that a dang old butterfly? How do I get the butterfly? Oh, wait, check in here. Ah, another butterfly. Got a butterfly to test my machine. I need to finish it. All right, whatever. Um, I guess I'll go back to Stella. I have a pretty good amount of stuff now, right? Jules, do you have what you need? Um, I'm going to log my findings, lady. There we go. All right. So what I do remember is that um, <laughs> what I load up into the machine is going to change the outcome of the ending. So I have a pretty good amount of things inside of my pockets. So, uh, yeah, yep. Get your body ready. Of course, it was, um, what was this, 2014, 2015? <laughs> uh, I guess even back then, the whole... Uh, my body is ready meme was probably already pretty old, but I'm not very, <laughs> very good at keeping up with the Joneses in terms of um, 
meme content. <laughs> Which is unfortunate because, you know, internet, anime girl, I should meme more. Why well, I'm sorry that I don't meme, guys. I'm not a very good meme. Um, but I promise you, I'm still a pretty cool anime girl. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to put in um, this adorable cat. And a butterfly. And you, Stella, step inside. Huh? Alright, gotta push buttons. Huh? Stella, where are you? I do all thing down here. Oh. Stella, you've become a little girl. It must have happened because of the whimsy of the butterflies and the cuteness of the cat. <laughs> Look at all that scientific logic that I put in. Hmm, I don't know if there's a way for me to undo this. I don't... I didn't put a control Z function on this machine. Uh? Then what are we going to do? Only one thing to do, Stella. I'll join you. Uh? Hey, Stella? Yeah? We hadn't talked much before, so I didn't know how to respond to your feelings. Oh, yeah. I guess that was pretty sudden, huh? But we're both children again, and we have all the time in the world to get to know each other. We're officially childhood friends. <laughs> when we grow up, let's date. Okay. Ah, oh, this is ending three childhood friends. Great. Goody. <laughs> So yeah, very centered in logic and science. <laughs> All right, well, get your body ready. All right, I'm going to put in uh, not a cat, uh, not a butterfly. Wait, no, that's gross. Wait, what? I want to put in the sword. Did I pick up the sword? Did I forget to pick up the sword? Hold on. Did I forget to go get the sword? I need to go get the sword. I do have a sword, right? I want the dang old sword. Hold on. Um, how do I check? Items. Weapons? No, I have the sword. An old sword that a weird girl in the water gave you. It's not science. It's not scientific. It's bug with wings that flutters around like, uh, okay. It wasn't born this way. <laughs> I guess not. Is there more stuff for me to get? There has to be more stuff. I don't remember how many endings I said there were. There were multiple endings. But you know, I'm going to see what happens if I do just like put in like one butterfly or something. I don't know. Alright, let's go back to Stella. We're going to go put in... Um, yeah, get your body ready. You can go put in not a cat. Um, a butterfly. And you. Step inside, huh? Alright, just gotta push these buttons and... Huh? <laughs> Fascinating, huh? You have wing-like things on your back. You're right. Uh, th this is so weird. <laughs> Amazing. Since the butterfly head that I inputted into the machine was basically just a pair of wings, <laughs> you've gained a pair yourself. <laughs> 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 there was no actual like bug part. It was just two wings floating around. I called it a butterfly. Does it really work that way? You can't argue with the results. Uh, but do they work? Can you fly? Maybe. Uh, let's go try them out. Hmm. We yeah, another character. It sure is a nice day out. Huh? Uh, hi. Estella, another flying girl. Yet another thing that I didn't expect today. Hmm. But unlike you, she doesn't seem to have wings. Maybe she's using magic? No, I'm not into magic. It's all about willpower over here. <laughs> Alright, so this girl, Ami, I think... I think I had like some weird continuity between my projects. 
in um in all of my class in all of my game projects in the university um and it would be like even f- across different classes and nobody nobody was even looking at my work that's fine <laughs> it was something that i just kind of found satisfying for myself that to have a continuity and um ami was a was a character just in different projects as well um so her shtick is that she dreamed of flying and so she just kind of started flying or something (laughs) i don't remember i might have to find like whatever video (laughs) that that she originally came from because i think that her original thing was a video um but yeah also uh used her in my multimedia class um (laughs) that's weird she just kind of wills herself to fly and so she could fly and that's her thing interesting we're able to fly today because of science science huh not so hot on that either for me it's willpower or no dice and by dice i mean flight I feel as though I'm using a fair bit of willpower here. Right, right. Stella, bring us higher. Let's see how far we can go with this. Uh, All right. So long, flying girl. Have a good one. Uh, We should meet up later. Sure. (laughs) The fook? Oh, this is ending one. This is supposed to be the first ending. Uh, Flying with science. Is that the canon one? (laughs) Uh, This game, man. Uh, Even this. (laughs) Now that I'm looking at the um, at the title screen, it's also pretty ridiculous. I had this picture just kind of on my phone. I think I think it was like on my phone or something. Or just kind of on my hard drive. Um, this is actually a picture from the science lab when I was in high school. I don't remember. I think it was like a UV UV lamp oven thingy. <laughs> I don't remember. But I took a picture of it for like a science prayer project. I don't remember what it was. But it looks science <laughs> I guess that was the point, right? And then I just kind of put this overlay of the fire because that was like a default on the um on the version of rpg maker i thought it would be pretty funny just to like (laughs) just to have the epic fire (laughs) um but i guess it does go with the title composite because it's just a bunch of things put together how about i just put some butterflies in get your body ready all right i'm going to put in um Um, not a cat. And not just a butterfly, but all the butterflies. And you, Stella, step inside. There we go. Got some butterflies. Ah, Stella, how are you doing? I don't know, I feel the same. Me too. Huh? Whoa, (laughs) you. I've created Stella copies? Yeah, looks like it. Must be because I put multiple butterflies inside. I agree. Oh, look at it, look, another Stella. Oh, by the way, Jules, you know how I feel about you. How do you feel about me? Yeah! Well, I don't believe in having more than one girlfriend, so having all of you wouldn't sit well with me. <laughs> Naughty! And I guess they beat him up. And so the Stellas and I set out on our journey to return the Four Sword. <laughs> the Four Sword Adventure. <laughs> uh, I don't know what to say about that one. I did like Four Swords. I, I played the GameCube one. <laughs> Um, I played the GameCube Four Swords on the GameCube. We like collected a bunch of those um, those uh, GBA connector cables, and we like borrowed another GBA from um, 
and one of my uh, childhood friends. I should do just a cat. All right, get your body ready. I'm going to put in this adorable cat. And no butterfly. Why don't I put a cat in all the butterflies? And you. All right, you just uh, push buttons and... How do you feel? Any different? Kind of weird. Ugh. <clears throat> Whoa. This is bad. Jewels! <laughs> Ew. Jewels! Fix this! It looks like I've put too many things inside of the machine. Now Stella is just a whole lot of crazy right now. <laughs> I guess this is like a picture, an old picture of Godzilla. My god, science is amazing. Hmm, I've got to do something, or else the entire city will get destroyed. Hmm, do you have that love sword? Oh, the sword is coming into play. Interesting. I got from the woman taking a bath. <laughs> I got to stop the thing. I was like, woman taking a bath? I didn't remember making that. No, he's talking about the water goddess. Perhaps I could use it somehow. Uh, but first, how am I supposed to get in range of her? Whoa. What in the world is going on here? I can't believe it. This girl's coming back. Huh? An inexplicably flying girl. Hey, you. What is that? My classmate. Are all of the students at your school this ridiculous? Uh, you're one to talk, inexplicably flying girl. Anyway, would you be alright with flying me over to her so I can give her a quick swipe of this? Sure, although I'm not sure what that toothpick is going to do about that giant thing. Well, it is a love sword. It may do something lovely. <laughs> Fine, let's go. <laughs> do I get like a cool... Okay, I don't get a cool image of Jules pre uh, preparing to swing the sword and just um, flying on top of this girl. Uh, take this! Oh, what are you doing? I'm using this love sword to bring you back to normal. <laughs> Stop that. I can't until you're back to normal, Stella. Now, accept my love! <laughs> Is it working? Did it do? Jules? It worked, Stella. The sword worked. Yeah, it worked. Now, this sword is the love sword that can only be used by someone with a pure heart of love. That's how it works. Do you know what love... Do you know what I love, Stella? Science? You. <gasps> Whoa, blowing out the ears. Blowing out the ears with... with love. And oh, <laughs> uh, the cute girl is happy. It's the true ending. This is the canon one, the one where she turns into a kaiju. Nice. Right, but I still didn't do like just a cat. I didn't expect all that to happen. That was kind of weird. All right, all right. Um, get your body ready. But uh, this adorable cat though, no butterflies. And you, Stella, to step inside. Huh? Here we go. Oh. My word. <laughs> Meow. The combination of irresistible cuteness of a cat and the youthful cheer of a young woman. You're the ultimate in cute. <laughs> you really think so, Meow? Absolutely. And does that mean we can start That's right, we can start posting pictures of you on the internet. You will be the next big me. Meow? <laughs> the pictures. Uh, and the ending four is a cat girl. Ending four. How many endings are there? What else can I get? Oh, am I going to get a different ending if I, like, don't? Don't have the sword? 
Like, what if I do like the kaiju thing without a sword? But yeah, what else about the production of this game? Um, Stella was also like in another project <laughs> that I made um, in the team this time, and it was on an Unreal Engine. And for some reason, I don't remember why, but for some reason, I just kind of decided to use the uh, the 2D functionality in um, in Unreal. <laughs> and um, yeah, if any if if you know anything about uh, Unreal Engine. It's that it's very good at making 3D games. <laughs> it makes 3D games look really pretty, just like out the box. But for some reason, we decided to <laughs> to use the 2D functionality in um, in Unreal, and it's um it is there. <laughs> and this was back in uh, Unreal Engine 4. I think that uh, these days are there like on five. <laughs> So that was that was a decision that we made. The game turned out all right. I'm not sure if I have that game anywhere, though. I might have to dig it out. <laughs> I don't think I have it published anywhere either. It's just another thing we ended up turning in. Um, yeah, check in here. But uh, that one's pretty cool because um, because since it is a project made for a game development class, all the assets in it are original. So I guess that would be pretty neat to take a look at at some point. Let's see here. Yeah, I'll go back to Stella. So I don't have the sword this time. And I'm assuming that's going to yield me different results. So let me go ahead and lock my finding. Let's see here. Yep, get your body ready. I'm going to lock my findings. Get your body ready. I'm going to put this cat. No butterfly, but all the butterflies. There we go. And you sell the stuff inside, huh? All right. Just got to push these buttons and... Uh, how do you feel? Anything different? I feel kind of weird. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, seems basically the same so far. Did I make a mistake? Uh, Jules! Uh, Jules! Fix this! It looks like I put too many things inside the machine. Now Stella just got a whole lot of crazy right now. Oh my god, science is amazing. Hmm, I've got to do something or else the entire city will get destroyed. Mm, oh, ooh, that was different. Now we got an acoustic guitar. Hmm, maybe I can use my machine for this. Of course, Stella is too big to fit in the machine again. But I'm not. Oh? <laughs> Stella and jewels. Don't be mad, Stella. I may not be able to turn you back into your normal body, but now you don't have to be a monster alone. Oh, jewels. Never alone. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't. It's like <laughs> I don't know what to make of this one. I don't know how to. But this is this is bad. I can't even come up with commentary for it. <laughs> this is my most popular game. <laughs> but all right, um, <laughs> that's it. That was that was my most popular game. If you had fun along with me, go ahead. And give this video a like and share it with a friend so that they too can become a fellow hero. Also, if you haven't already, go ahead and action smack that subscribe button so that it's easier to keep up with all the content that we're rolling out. Speaking of content, have you noticed that we are streaming every Tuesday and Thursday from 6 to 8 p.m. Eastern Time? <laughs> and I'm streaming on both YouTube and Twitch. So, if you have the opportunity, do join us. It's a good time. <laughs> um, and as always, thank you guys so much for being here. And I will see you in the next Smack Chan Pact adventure.